like to uh, celebrate Michigan authors on this program. Mary Kramer was born and raised in Saginaw, and uh, writing was always a hobby, and she had a full-time nursing career and, and uh, likes gardening and sailing and traveling and anything Irish, so we like her because we love our Irish heritage on this program. And uh, now she lives in the Upper Peninsula. Anam Kara is her first novel, and she's on the other end of our line. Good morning to you. Good morning. What does Anam Kara mean? Um, it means soulmate. It's a, it's a Celtic um, term. Mm-hmm. Anam Kara. So what is the book about? Well, the book is about, it, it takes place in, in the 1950s, about um, a mother recently widowed with four young boys to raise. And um, finances require her to move to uh, northern Michigan to claim a herit- inheritance. Uh, move to northern Michigan from where? Boston. From Boston. Mm-hmm. Appa- and, and apparently she's in Boston. Uh, she's in uh, Michigan via Boston by way of Ireland, right? <laughs> yep, exactly. That's a pretty traditional trail, isn't it, for the <laughs> most part there? Um, but actually, in Michigan, we have some of those counties in northern Michigan that are named for Irish counties. I think we've got about four of them, don't we? We've got Clare and Roscommon and Wexford and uh, the other one there where Antrim. Antrim, yeah. So, so it's not really that unusual, I guess. And, of course, we've got the Irish Hills down there in the Jackson area and Corktown and downtown Detroit. So we, we celebrate our Irish heritage pretty, yes, we do. pretty well here in the state of Michigan, don't we? Yes, we do. Have you spent much time in Ireland? You gotten over there at all? We have. We've been there once and enjoyed it thoroughly. It's another world. Yeah. What was your favorite part of Ireland? Um, I think the Ring of Kerry. Yeah, that's pretty there, isn't it? Down yeah. there in uh, Waterville Beautiful. and Tralee and uh, down there to the South K- Killarney uh, is sort of the anchor of that. And the Dingle Peninsula is my adopted hometown there. It's a little fishing village. Did you get out to Dingle at all? Ah, uh, yes, we did. Yeah. That's and terrific. I believe that's where they filmed um, Ryan's daughter. Away. Oh, yeah, and they did the Tom Cruise movie there, too. Yeah. You yeah. know what they told me in town uh, when they made that movie Far Away? That's where Tom Cruise met uh, Nicole Kidman, if I'm not mistaken, that uh, uh, he was a poor tipper. <laughs> 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 that's terrible. <laughs> uh, we'll continue in just a moment <laughs> with Mary Kramer, the author of Anam Kara, Soulmate, back in a flash. Continuing this morning with Mary Kramer, a new author, originally from Saginaw, living in the Upper Peninsula. Anam Kara is her book. It's uh, Irish, if you say. If you're in Scotland, you call it the Celtic. If you're in Ireland, you call it the Irish. Uh, it's for soulmates, and it's a story of a, a, a woman who is suddenly widowed and thrust into the strange and frightening world of the Upper Peninsula of Michigan by way of Boston. It ends up being a wondrous journey of the heart as I understand it. And, and uh, Mary, this is your first novel, your first book after a nursing career. I've, uh, I've uh, written a number of books. In fact, I've got one coming out this November that will include parts of my uh, adventure in Dingle and County Kerry in Ireland. But what I'm curious about is there a lot of people say to me, wow, that seems like a real challenge, a tough thing to do to write a book. How long did it take you to write the book? I worked on it um, on and off yeah. um, for probably a year. Mm-hmm. But when I became serious, it was about six months. Yeah, you, then you got... And what time of day did you write? I'm, I have lots of famous authors on, like yourself, and uh, I, I always ask, what time of day does your muse come to get you? I'm a morning person. Oh, so you get right up and start writing, huh? Um, after the coffee kicks in, yes. And how long would you go? Ernest Hemingway said that if you can get eight good pages in a day, that's pretty good. I never measured by pages or words. It, mm-hmm. it was mostly how long I'm, I'm at the uh, laptop. About six to eight hours. Wow. Occasionally, my husband has to remind me to stop and eat, but um, <laughs> somewhere in that vicinity. And so, not every day. You know, the other thing Ernest Hemingway wrote is that you, you should stop uh, before you're out of words so that you can pick up easily the next day and not have writer's block. Did you ever run into that kind of trouble? Absolutely. Yeah. You stare at the um, the screen and, and nothing's there. Yeah. And then that's when he said, when you get that writer's block, that you should just put one true thing on the page and it'll get you going. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Just, you know, I, I'm interested in the process all the time because I find it so fascinating. Did you have trouble sleeping where at night you would be thinking about your book and uh, may, maybe even dreaming about it? 
Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and I carry a pen and paper everywhere. It's all consuming, um, isn't it? Because well, you an idea comes and you think, oh, I'll remember that. Yeah. Guess what? You don't remember it. <laughs> well, congratulations on Anamkara. Can we get it uh, on at Yahoo and Kindle and all that sort of thing? Yes, sir. Amazon. Um, and and through the the major chains, of course, online, and then through the publisher, which is Rock Publishing. Rock Publishing, Anamkara. It's A N A M. Second word C A R A. And that's the Irish for soulmate, as I understand. Now, since you've become a worldly author, <laughs> have you noticed that how the esteem goes up? You say, well, I'm a published author. And they say, oh, let's have a seat right here at the front table, right? Uh, I haven't experienced that yet. <laughs> Will you be having book signings or any sort, anything like that? Um, the publisher is working on some of those right now. Okay. Well, if you ever come to Lansing uh, or Grand Rapids, you let me know, and we'll get that all squared up. Do, do you like living in the Upper Peninsula? Love it. It's yeah. paradise. Paradise. Um, you know, that one time they said Bigfoot was running around up there. You haven't seen Bigfoot, have I have you? not. Okay. Um, we do this thing on the program called The Answer Man, and since you're an esteemed author now, I wonder if you would join us in this little segment of The Answer Man right now with anchorman Gary Austin. Here's how it works. I put on The Answer Man hat, and on television here on Fox 47 or online on YouTube or michigantalknetwork.com, he's going to ask us a couple questions, and we're never wrong, so don't worry about that. Gary Austin, meet Mary Kramer, author from the Upper Peninsula. All right, Mary, here you go. You ready for question number one Two here? Two authors answering questions. Let her rip. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> number one, guys. All right, Mary. Yes, here we go. NASA officials say a spacewalk outside the ISS is going to happen soon to repair what? Something's busted. What up there needs fixing? What are they going to tend to? What is broken on the uh, International Space Station is the question. Mary? I haven't a clue. Oh, I think, Mary, that it's a piece of important equipment that's broken. You're absolutely right, yes. yes. <laughs> you see how the game's played, Mary? I, I get it now. She <laughs> gets it now. Yes, it's a component on the cooling system. Yeah. They're gonna, it's a delicate piece of work. They're going to fix it up today. Okay. What hey, is the, your question? Next, the Michigan Public Service Commission has given the green light to a plan from Detroit Addison to do something very unique. What is it, MPS and Mary? It's something very unique. <laughs> it is. She's right. right. She's right It's a unique billing structure where if you're uh, charging up your car, it's different than, say, you're watching uh, television. That's right. They're going to set an electrical rate system mm -hmm. as people gear up for those new electric vehicles. How right. about that? What is your question? All righty. Let's see. Ooh, here's a weird one here. A Republican U.S. Senate hopeful from Kentucky has categorically said, no, this never happened. A published report that he did what? It involves um, Rand Paul, a Republican running for office there, charged with something kind of bizarre. What is it? Well, since it never happened... Um... She's right. What's the point? It never happened. <laughs> That's it a was a kidnapping scheme, something to do with... It's the, true. Yeah. So ring the bell. We're right. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a bizarre sort of thing. Accused of... Um, kidnapping a girl in college yeah. and forcing her to smoke pot. Yeah. And he says it never happened. Yeah. Just all a political Dirty stunt. Dirty politics. By the other side. Um, let's see. One oh, more. Hey, last one here real quick, Mary MPS. Several local football stars will be making their movie debut in the Grand Rapids area. Mm -hmm. Okay, this movie, um, Kurt Russell is behind it. He's producing it. Yeah. And the name of the film is... It's a football, football term. Players in Grand Rapids. Oh, boy. It's a, hey, a, I, touchback is what it's called. Close enough. Absolutely right. Right on both counts, guys. Good job. With my former best friend, Kurt Russell, who I played golf with in Carolina once. Remember Very that? Very good. I've Very talked good. about it to the endlessly. People are sick of it. Congratulations, Mary Kramer. Anamkara is the book, and we'll be in touch. Yay. Slanga full to you. Thank you. This was exciting, and I... Um... Enjoyed it thoroughly. All right, Gora Mahogat, and we will talk soon. Anam Kara.